Hey, what's up guys, it's Fan Shui, and in today's video, we're going to be diving deep into all the PvP styles GTA Online has to offer. This video, in a way, will be a ranking of the most popular and known PvP styles being at the tip of the iceberg, with the least known being all the way at the bottom of the iceberg. This video was inspired by a video I saw on YouTube the other day called the GTA Online Iceberg. And I found it really interesting how they dove really deep into topics from GTA. If you guys would like to check that video out, I'll have it in the description. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Now the first PvP style that is basically forced upon everybody that's played GTA is the free mode PvP style. What free mode PvP style mostly consists of is fighting in the city using cover to your advantage. In free mode PvP, there is a hidden rule where players will not use BST, also known as Bull Shark Testosterone, which is a perk that makes you deal three times damage. These kind of perks are considered dirty, but once one of these tactics are used, typically anything goes after in terms of weapons. Players who stick to city PvP mostly play in third person. In contrast to the upcoming PvP styles we will see today, anything goes here in terms of weapons. After a little while of being a free mode PvP player, one particular vehicle can really make you pretty upset compared to other ways of dying. The Jet. Why does this vehicle make many players upset? Because the Jet is pretty hard to counter, especially if you're on the newer side of PvP. Not only is it hard to counter, Jet players typically decide they want to kill you over and over, which can be pretty damn annoying just sitting there desperately trying to take it out, only to realize the only solutions to counter it is either going in passive or grabbing a jet yourself. So you go and grab a jet because your pride is too high to go in passive and you've just about had it with them killing you. Eventually you find enjoyment in killing free mode players yourself and become the very thing you once hated. Or maybe you were one of those ground fighters that never really got griefed by a jet, so you didn't find them to be much of a problem because of passive mode. So you eventually find our next PvP style. You realize that there always seems to be several dots fighting at the beach area in Los Santos. You make your way over there and you find an all out war here. You decide to join in and you end up kind of falling in love with the fighting here. The spawns are all nearby, it's an open area so no pesky campers and here is where you find the most enjoyment using snipers. The beach pvp area is a very popular choice and style for players getting into pvp and now that you've been here a while, you come to find players fighting in first person. They move really fast and it makes you wonder how and why are they fighting this way. They also seem to be pretty good at pvp. And so you go on YouTube and look into some tips and tricks videos, only to find what we're about to see next. Beach tryhards and all weapons. The beach is where you would probably encounter an actual tryhard for the first time in GTA. They shoot RPGs with the quickness. They move fast while sniping, and they also seem to always be in a CEO. As mentioned earlier, the beach is favored by tryhards due to the spawn locations of the area, as most tryhards really enjoy long distance fighting with snipers and rockets. Those who learn all the spawns will see the most success here. All weapons are used here. Base is another high PvP zone. The reason it's called base is because it's located right next to the Fort Zancudo military base. Players who attempt to steal jets and fail will usually end up spawning right in this area. All the spawns from here on out are relatively close, just like at beach, which is the reason why it's pretty popular here. The spawns can also be predicted and learned, and players who learn the spawns will usually have a greater advantage over those who don't really know the spawns. If you get spawn killed here or at the beach, that is called a keck. Tryhards really love seeing kecks as it is proof that one really knows how to fight in these areas. Our weapons are usually used here as well. Ring 
fight is a PvP style that you can usually find by hitting quick job on your phone or by receiving an invite to it during a GTA Online session. Upon joining the match, you will spawn in with a jerry can. As soon as it starts though, you will notice that everyone puts away the jerry can and starts punching each other. Some players choose to stick to this style as they discover certain techniques such as the chop, which is an attack where you hit your opponent in the back with your arm. This will kill the person immediately. Your fists are your only weapon here. Dogfighting is a PvP style that kind of died out but it is still well known upon the GTA PvP community. This style involves players fighting Jet vs Jet. These fights usually take place in invite only sessions or in death matches. The laser jet is preferred over other jets as they are the most agile. The fights begin by flying towards each other, then past each other. Here, players will try to outmaneuver the other for the kill. Running Gun, also known as RNG, is a style that you can also find in a similar way to ring fighting. You can find it through a quick job or through an invite from a session or a friend. One of the most popular maps for RNG is called Running Gun Upgrade, which, unfortunately, is a map that attracts many players who don't know what RNG truly is. What you'll find upon entering an RNG upgrade match is a hellho of players using all the weapons they have mainly explosives in this small and tight map. Now true running gun is almost the complete opposite from what is offered from an RNG upgrade match. True running gun is a style that I personally promote and enjoy the most. RNG is played using only pistols or rifles and no bulletproof helmets are allowed here. Though RNG isn't the most popular style. This style has over time developed a very loyal community, with players creating crews specifically for this style, as well as sticking to this style for many years. There are over thousands of unique RNG maps, so RNG upgrade isn't your only choice. And though some newcomers might see this style as skill lacking, mainly because of the auto aim being the preferred aim choice, true RNG players are aware of the skill gap between a new player and a long time player. You will rarely ever join a true RNG match through common ways like quick job. The only way to join a true RNG match is to add players already involved with the RNG community. If you are interested in learning more about RNG or adding players, I suggest watching my video on how to become an RNG player, which I'll link in the description. Face to face is a style that was developed by RNG players who in the past had to deal with players camping, which they very much disliked, so they created a map where there are no walls or cover, hence the name. Though it might be hard to believe, players have actually created a skill gap here as well. And yes, without a way. Players who understand how and when to properly headshot and how to properly move their characters in ways that dodge bullets will be the most successful here. Face to face is mainly played using only rifles or pistols. AWNL or All Weapons No Lanza which means grenade launcher in English is a style that takes place in death matches with other AWNL players. These matches aren't your typical quick job matches that are usually filled with casual players who don't even know how to shoot a shotgun yet. These AWNL matches tend to be much more competitive with players using buildings and cover to their advantage. All weapons except grenade launchers are used here and you are allowed to wear bulletproof helmets as well. TTG or tactic game is a style that also derived from the RNG community, but instead of rushing as you'd expect from RNG, players will instead be encouraged to camp and use cover to their advantage. TTG takes place in specific death matches such as Vinewood Kills and Pavilion. 
and you can use any weapons in these matches except for explosives. And the last style that I know of in GTA is HNG or Hiding Gun. Hiding Gun is another style that came from RNG, though it is almost the complete opposite. HNG takes place in death matches, usually in a map called Run Up. Here, players will mostly camp, but there have been techniques developed to counter camping, such as a trick called Houdini. A Houdini involves a player sticking their rifle through a wall to kill players on the other side of the wall. The only weapons allowed in the HNG are rifles, pistols, and snipers as well, as the sniper can easily be used to shoot through walls. With so many PvP styles, all with their own communities on top of that, you can see how GTA truly is a game where anything can be done in it. Do any of you guys play any of these PvP styles mentioned today? Will you be trying any style you saw here today? Let me know what your favorite style is in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like as that would really help me out a lot. And subscribe as well if you're interested in watching PvP content. That's about it for this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.